Today on Logan Lee Adventures, we made it to Colombia's Caribbean coast, specifically the ever grand jewel of this corner of the country, the city of Cartagena. Known since the colonial era as Cartagena de Indias, this city is one of the most major ports of the northern coast of Colombia, which is also known as the Caribbean coast since it borders the Caribbean Sea and now it sounds so majestic and ethereal. As you can see from the architecture all around me, Cartagena is a historic city of superbly preserved beauty lying within an impressive 13 kilometers of centuries old colonial stone walls. We first enter Cartagena's old town through these stone walls and right away, I can see how it's a UNESCO World Heritage Site from the old town make up of all these mazes of cobblestone alleys, gorgeous balconies covered in bougainvillea flowers, and massive churches that cast these wonderful shadows across these leafy plazas. Seriously, me and your room just hide away in those shadows. But that's why you don't see a lot for the shade because it's so hot here. It's about 35 degrees Celsius. My skin is like melting off. <laughs> but I absolutely love the beauty that this city holds. Beautiful doors all over the town, but a little detail on the doors, there's all these cool doorknobs. So back then, if it's a lion, you have a title like a marchioness. Uh, if it's a mermaid or like something related to the sea, then you're a very rich sailor. And if it's a, wait, or if it's a, if it's a lion, then you're probably in uh, like higher up rank in the military. Forgot which one is the Marchioness then. You have a salamander, that's it. <laughs> All right, I'm hungry. Are you hungry? Because I'm ready to chow down. So we're at the Laguna Azul, uh, which is a seafood restaurant right in the middle of Cartagena. And it is kind of, one of a hidden gem because it's like under these passageways, but it's a beautiful open car courtyard with, as you can see, very lively music. And it's been recommended to us by locals for their seafood, so you know. You know how much I love seafood and ceviche as well. So we're gonna order a few things, we're gonna try it, and then I'm gonna show you what it's all about. Cartagena is also the definition of vibrant and a bustling city with so many colors, scents, and sounds to just take in all around me. Ended up on this street with all these international flags. We're gonna try to spot Canada, Vietnam, and the Netherlands. I mean, it seems like they have everyone up here. It's such a beautiful street, like the many streets in the city. This all leads to like an art graffiti mural alleyway. It's gorgeous. Now we're exploring outside of the walls in 
this vibrant, beautiful neighborhood just next to the center. Well, I still consider the center. Focus men me. And it's so beautiful here. Oh, Yurun looked at me. I probably pronounced it wrong. of Kachi Kangna is so interesting and this is only like a little slice of it which makes up what this city, this beautiful city culture and diversity is. So way back, 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 back then, you know, this is a port city of Colombia and so it was a huge part of the slave trade and the Spanish and the Portuguese brought over tons of people from the African countries, especially countries on the coastline and also in towards uh, from, uh, from Congo as well. And they brought them over here, part of the slave trade, but they chose Africans from various different countries because they knew that you can't communicate with each other and because you can't communicate with each other you can't revolutionize against the people that are like your slave owners which is like crazy so flash forward to present time now you have the population making up 40% of African heritage 50% of Colombians and then 10% of everything else basically makes this city so diverse and you get that you know the african from the music you get the spirit and the culture into the food as well with the coconut rice and speaking of coconut rice i'm so hungry so let's go and have lunch here <laughs> perfect timing Y'all, I don't know about you, but one of the things I heard a lot about Colombia before coming was that it's not a country for food. And as a person who's absolutely is obsessed with eating and just life is food and food is life, I just didn't want to believe it. And luckily, all those people were proven wrong because whether I'm in Medellin, the city of Eternal Spring, or the coffee region in Salento, and now the Caribbean coast in Cartagena, the food Food in Colombia has been spectacular. I've only been eating traditional local dishes too, so I've shown you everything. And as you can tell from the Caribbean coast, food up here revolves around one of my most loved seafood, which is vastly different from my other love, which is pork meatiness. And Colombia does both so well. All right, for a sunset and golden hour, what better way to spend it than walking along the top of the walls of the forest. The view's impeccable. Look at the, look at the new city there. It's quite windy up here. And then the old city here. I know I just had a gigantic dinner, including dessert, but what's another treat? Especially since I have such a huge heart for churros. And these churros were the bomb. It went so well as we're settling into the evening in Cartagena. So beautiful! That's a wrap for Cartagena. Tune in to the next vlog for more adventures on the Caribbean coast of Colombia. Give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment below, and subscribe if you haven't already for more South American travels.